Your sweater is ugly. Christmas sweaters, they're meant to be ugly, right? Look at Hex's setup over here. Let's start this vlog off with the audacity this man has to say, fuck off my desk. You know what, fuck the police. Sitting on his desk now. What you gonna do? I should probably get the fuck off, he's gonna send me right back to Canada. But anyway, welcome to today's vlog. Um, I feel like, it's, I feel like talking to you guys, because I haven't done that in a while, right? Um, so we're gonna, let's go into the theater room here. Nothing really much downstairs going on here. Hex is set up there, lounge bar, bar area there, fireplace, couch, looking like a porn shoot right there actually. And then, Hitch came clutch and brought the GameCube. Oh my goodness, that was, if you guys want to look at Hitch's channel, I'll get my ass whooped on fucking GameCube. I'm one of those people, like, I, I thought I was good when I was 10 years old, but then nine years later, the next time I play it, I'm absolutely trash. That's what, that's what happened, so, in this is the theater room, by the way, you guys know that. Nothing much goes down here either, it looks like there was a, a lesbian scene here or something like that, but anyway. I want to talk to you guys, because it's already been a month since I moved into the optic house. And, time really fucking flies, that it's already been a month. Right? Time flies when you have a lot of fun, and that's literally what I've been having these, uh, ever since moving into the optic house. Even my mom recognized that when she came down for Thanksgiving, my brother, they were like, Austin, this is your atmosphere. This is this is where you're supposed to be. And I was like, yes, it is. I was like, fuck. I was, I was so happy, and I still am. I wake up, and I just think, like, dude, I've moved, I've moved three times this year. I, I lived out in Vancouver at the beginning of this year, middle of this year. I went back to Ontario, and then at the end of the year, I'm in Chicago in the Optic Mansion or Optic Scuff House, whatever. It's crazy how much can happen in a year, and... You know, you have a lot more fun doing things that you fucking love, and this is literally where I am supposed to be. Um, like, what I've, ever since moving to the Optic House, if, you, if I were to tell you guys with all honesty, it's, uh, I was a little nervous at the beginning, right? Like, I, I, I knew all these guys, uh, I'd see them all at events and all that, we'd talk and chill and hang out, but I never lived with them, and I've never lived with anyone before that either, I never had roommates. Before this, I, the only roommates I ever had were my brothers, and I lived, I lived out in Vancouver, for six months, I had I had my brothers there for three months, and then I lived on my own for a month because my brothers I went to China, and I've never had roommates that I didn't like know, right? Like I never went. I still, I, as you guys know, I didn't go to college or anything like that. So when you go to college, you you most likely have roommates, unless you want to get a solo dorm room or something like that or a solo apartment. Um, so I never, I I still was getting used to it, and I still kind of am. Uh, I didn't know like how how these guys were with their routines, you know. You know, just just whatever, because I knew my brothers. I know, I know my brothers like the back of my fucking hand. All right, I don't I don't know these guys like like that. But you know, over time, I've I've, go, I've grown to like know them more and like know them more on a personal level than more than what people see on YouTube, and it's it's awesome, right? And this is still a new, a completely new experience for me, and it's uh it's very it's very awesome to share with you guys, that's for sure. But um, you guys you guys know what I mean. When you have, say, say you're talking to like, to, you're talking to someone, like your best buddy, or you're talking to a, your girlfriend, or some girl you really fucking like, or something like that, and you, you, you have so much fun talking to them, like, you, no, none of the time matters, right? Like, you'll, you'll start talking to them, and the next thing, in the morning, whatever, it's like 8 o'clock, and then next thing you know, it's like, oh, good night, see you later. And next thing you know, it's already 11 p.m., and you're just like, holy shit. Time fucking flies. Time flies when you have fun, and it's it's kind of crazy how like the funnest times you have in your life they fly by just like that. And then there's times where it's like the worst days of your life they feel like forever, right? And you know the entire time I've been here, it's just felt like a fucking dream fantasy because this is something I've been working for for two years. I feel like people forget that uh, I was supposed to join two years ago, and you know I had to lie to my mom and all that. Because I, I call it the blind faith. You know, I'll, I'll keep telling the story because it's, it's just so crazy. Because they'd always, they, they knew I was supposed to join Optic uh, two years ago. And they'd always ask me, like, when is it happening? When is it happening? It's like, oh, maybe it's going to happen at this minute. It was actually supposed to happen at Orlando, UMG Orlando, at the beginning of this year um, in January. It just didn't happen, though. Um, but it was supposed to happen then. And, you know, it just kept getting postponed. I wasn't sure it was going to happen, right? And then finally, finally, I get the phone call. And you guys knew that story. Um, but living living in this house, like being in the in the atmosphere of you know of people that want to do and love doing what you love doing as well, right? Is the fucking greatest. Like we all 
want to go to the gym. We all want to make videos. We all want to play video games. We all just want to hang out. We all want to collab. We all want to do all that shit. And it's, it's so crazy and awesome. Like, I've never had that before. Like, this entire year, uh, my entire five years of doing YouTube and all that shit, I've never had, like, the atmosphere of, like, that before. I've always, it's always just been me chilling out in my fucking basement, making videos for you guys, playing games and all that. And, you know, I would vlog, but it would always, it would always be, like, one-on-one -on -one vlogs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a chance to bullshit with that wall over there. Like, what's going on, wall? And then, you know, you know, I, I, tried, I, I tried to vlog with my friends in a mall once. You know, I was like, all right, let's, let's vlog in the mall here real quick. And then they, and I put the camera on them. I was like, yo, what's going on, man? What are we doing? And then this guy, he'd freeze up. He'd be like, what are you doing, Austin? And I'd be like, okay, that's pretty obvious that not a lot of people can do the camera thing. And I, I, at the beginning, when I came to the Opticast, I wasn't really sure on the camera thing either. But I've learned a lot from these guys and how, how like they just focus on the camera more than anything else. And they, they get people inside the picture, you know, when they're talking to them and all that. Um, and how, how like brave you really gotta be to, to vlog out in public. And you know, as soon as I moved here, they all just brought the cameras out. You know, they were just so natural at it. I was like, damn. And I'm one of those people that I'm an observant learner right so I'll, I'll i'll watch people and like what they do and you know how they how they hold the camera and they all have like um they all have the um, what is it the selfie sticks or whatever the gorilla fucking things i don't know so you can get the longer arm like but i think i have a pretty long arm i'm gonna get one anyway um and i just saw how they did it and how they were vlogging in public with ease i was like all right I, if they can do that i can do that so and then i just started doing it and people recognize that more and you know and, I, and i'm a I, I like to think i'm a lot i'm 150 percent times better of a vlogger than I was before so that's awesome and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys noticed like I've been getting a lot of comments on the videos um, you know Pomage like we we can tell like you're you're that much more happy like being in an optic and all that and I am I, I really am like you guys this is something I've been thinking about for two years over here like I would have conversations um, like I would have like I would have dreams of this like this is like an actual dream of mine like, no, no bullshit. Like, you guys can fucking roast me on my dreams of joining a gaming organization or whatever. But no, I've had dreams of this. I'm not, don't, don't be fucking scared to fucking do your dreams. Nowadays, people are, kids nowadays are scared to do what they love because of what other people fucking think of them. They're scared of that. That's, that's the worst thing you could ever do. If, there, if there's people out there like that, if, you, if you're scared to do what you really want to do just because of what those other people over there think... Do that, and then do do you, all right? Literally, that's all you gotta do, and then you're gonna have a fantastic fucking time. Like at the end of Logic's album, like he said, doesn't matter what you're interested in, there's always gonna be others interested in the exact same thing. It's awesome. Um, that's such a good album, and Mac Miller's album, by the way. Um, but time is flying, time is flying, it's flown, it's still going. I've been here for a month, and it just seems like I moved here just yesterday. And, you know, me and Hitch, we joined at the exact same time, right? And, like, beforehand, we knew we were going to join. And we'd be like, oh, two months, man. Two months, we're going to join. It's going to be fucking crazy. We're going to announce it and shit. Oh, one more month. Oh, two more weeks. Oh. And then now, like, when we, me and Hitch hang out, we're like, we'll go get, a, we'll go get something to eat or some shit. We'll just fucking bullshit. And be like, dude, we're here right now. So that's fucking awesome, man. So nothing happened overnight, that's for sure. Like, I was supposed to join regardless of this house or anything like that. I know a lot of people are trying to give me shit. Also, a lot of people are like... Why did you leave FaZe? Dude, that was two years ago. You're living in the past or some shit. You gotta, you gotta let that go. But um, anyway, I just feel like I would I share, share my feelings and um, you know, talk about this and how it's been living at the Altios because this has just been a dream. And a lot of people, they see that and I'm glad they do because I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm really fucking happy, so if you guys enjoy this uh, nice little one-on-one -on -one vlog, um, I haven't done this in a long time, most of it's just been like vlogging and day in the life and so just messing around and gameplays and all, but I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so uh, double upload today, this one's going up a little later than uh, the kill race with Spratty, very fun, um, I'm, going, I'm actually going back to Canada this week, so that'll be fun. And uh, I'll be there till January 2nd, then I'll be back, and then we're going to start off 2016 off fucking with fire. We're gonna start it off with that fire, bro. Like, like you guys ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for this. Not again. Y'all ain't ready for this. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, guys. If you really do a favor, come to the sky, mouse Mazer, or off the Pomage, whatever floats your boat, and I will see you gorgeous faces. Absolute gorgeous, gorgeous faces. Later. Yeah. Bye-bye.